have to open this for me. Oh, really? I, I just did. No? I don't have uh, But I think uh, uh, it has to be really open because I'm going to pour everything. Okay. Well, I just can't pour everything. You think so? Yeah, it's, uh, air goes in and the cream goes out. Okay, I'll try. Right. So we're going to be making... So okay. Natalia is going to be making some kind of traditional uh, Brazilian candy that they make for for children's Birthday. parties. Children's birthday parties. Okay. okay, how do I turn this on? So you go like... Right. Like that. And then Perfect. about five is about right. And yes. the wooden spoons are... You found the wooden, wooden spoon? Yes. She's in my house, you guys, cooking. So this is ah. going to be so much fun. <laughs> and it's called what again? It's called Brigadier. Brigadier. In Portuguese it's Brigadeiro. Uh -huh. But it's a, uh, it's called, uh, which in English is brigadier, which is the rank, uh, the high-ranking officer of the. Oh, it, uh, nowadays it's the high-ranking officer of the Brazilian Air Force. Air Force, okay. But we had this in the army uh, years ago, and uh, it has its uh, the the candy owes its name to the fact that uh, a brigadier from the Brazilian military was a great fan of the the candy. Uh, that's the normal version, the version we tell children. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's another version that the, the candy got its name from the brigadier. It was given to the candy by his political adversaries. He was a candidate to the Brazilian presidency. Because it was rumored that this brigadier had lost one of his testicles <gasps> in battle. Uh, <laughs> and the candy is small and round. Oh, so this is going to look like you you'll, see, you'll see it when it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, okay. Yeah. This, this is the unofficial story, okay? <laughs> this one we don't, we don't tell <laughs> children, but... So I thought I thought that the you, most interesting. I thought you could tell the children in in Brazil were more like um, liberal, uh, like you could tell kids, you know, like not like America where we're all stuck up and we can't we can't mention words like that. I don't know. I I think maybe not as conservative as the average American child, but still, uh, it, it wouldn't be a story we would tell small okay. children. Okay, you're gonna eat uh, some testicles of a of a uh, breed yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We don't want them bullying their colleagues that eventually have some <laughs> <laughs> some accidents. Okay, so she's using condensed milk. You see, but this is going to take too long. Oh, sorry, to I have to open it. Let's see. It's thick condensed milk. She says she's only using one because otherwise it'll be too sweet. And then, you know. Mark's diabetic, so we can't have him have too much sweet. So what did you put in there first? What, oh, the butter, right? Butter. Okay. Just and melted the butter. Now I'm going to put in the condensed milk and then the cocoa powder and that. That's about it. Then it, well, we just have to stir it until it uh, releases itself from the, the bottom of the pan. So you, you see, it's, uh, it's when it gets sticky. And, and then comes the second part, then we just have to let it cool down and then we roll it into small small balls, small and, balls. Yeah. And, and roll it over, and roll it over the sprinkles. Oh, wow. And the powder, the chocolate powder, let me see what that is. Can you, can you get that bag, Carlos? I want to see what oh, it yeah, is sure. so I know what this is. What is this called? It's called... Caco, caco. Coca, it's cocoa, really. It's, it's, it's cacao, it's, it's the fruit that people make chocolate of. So it's just regular cocoa? Yes. yes. It's yes. not some special That's brand. When, yeah, but it's it's really dark. Because if you, if you use the uh, those those versions that you... I don't know what you call them in English. The but toddy and... Uh, the toddy and quick... And things that you just pour into children's Oh, milk, yeah, instant, sweet. instant. Instant, uh, in, 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 yeah. Those ones are very sweet, so... It's too sweet. So this yeah, should be then, unsweetened then cocoa. Sweet. Yeah. And you used like a half a cup, I guess. Yeah, and a half a yeah, stick I of butter. so. I, I never measure anything. <laughs> That's so. a, a true cook. You never measure. That's how it works. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, wow. It smells amazing. Take you guys, I can smell it so good. Now we just take some time and we uh, just have to be here stirring all the time. 
So this is when it, it's already thickened up. Yeah. See how thick it gets. Then we just have to let it cool down and roll it into balls with the sprinkles. It doesn't look very nice, but it really tastes good. <laughs> smells so good. And it's really simple, the different things you put in there. Boy, it's just condensed milk and butter and the cocoa powder. So it's, it's really easy to make. And a lot of love. Oh, really? <laughs> and, it, and it's organic! No, yeah. it's <laughs> Homeopathic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this looks good. Okay, so... GMO free! No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So what are we doing Let's now? Let's see if it's... Uh, I, I'll check if it's cool enough so that I can do it. But it's really simple. Now what happens is just we burn our hands so that it doesn't get hmm. stuck to the hand. Oh, it's like making popcorn balls. Do you make popcorn, popcorn balls? balls? I, I love popcorn balls. popcorn balls. Oh, they're I delicious. Suppose, I suppose it should be. You have to butter your hands because otherwise it's so hot. And then you see, you just make small balls like this. Uh huh. Like the brigadier's. Oh, okay. <laughs> brigadier's <laughs> testicles. <laughs> and then you just roll it in the sprinkles. They're going to glue to the ball. And then this is it. And then you put them in these little things. Then, this is what we serve in children's parties, children's birthday parties. There, oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? It doesn't look like Do they call, are they called something else in other places or no? No, it's uh, it's just in Brazil. I've never seen it any, anywhere else in the world. Okay, it's and just a, it's so, such a simple recipe. It's, it's a very simple recipe and I, it's weird. Anywhere I go that I make it, People ask, well, why isn't it sold around the world? But I think it's it's really very, uh, it's a Brazilian thing. I remember one American critic of, of food. People usually say it's too sweet. Say yeah. it's it's too sweet. Yeah. It's not a well balanced candy. Yeah. So you but, have to eat just a little bit of it. Yeah, that's why it's small. But uh, I don't know about that because if you if you get all these English fudges, they are just as <gasps> sweet. Fudge is so sweet. Yeah, I think they maybe just look weird. <laughs>